Hello friends, I'm George, the nice melic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. Today is time for another episode of my series of videos called 5 original designer and niche scents and 10 of their cheaper good alternatives. Basically in these videos I'm talking about 5 original designer and niche fragrances that are quite expensive and I'm showing you a total of 10 alternatives uh, for those original scents and per every original scent I'm offering you two different cheaper alternatives. The first original fragrance that I'm going to give you alternatives for comes from the house of YSL and it's called Tuxedo. It's one of the famous uh, re releases from the uh, private line of YSL. So now I'm going to give you two alternatives uh, for that original fragrance. The first one comes from the house uh, or the brand of Mason Alhambra and it's called the Tux. And this is probably the first uh, inspired by fragrance that really became famous when it comes to YSL, insp YSL tuxedo inspirations. This feels more like a straight up copy of the original scent. It feels like a straight up copy of the original scent. The tux feels like a, almost an exact copy of the original scent. Carries uh, pretty much the same vibes. You get lots of that uh, spicy opening that the original fragrance has, a bit of an aromatic touch. You get the rose note uh, like you get with the original fragrance. You get the vanillic sweetness on the dry down. Very, very similar to the original fragrance. And probably to this day, at least from what I've tried, this remains, uh, you know, one of the best, if not the best inspiration of Tuxedo. Again, this feels like a straight up copy of the original fragrance. And even the bottle design is pretty, pretty similar. But this can be sometimes pretty hard to find. And because of the amount of hype that this fragrance received, uh, sometimes this can be very, very expensive. So I'm going to give you a second alternative that comes from the brand of Afnan and it's called Turati Brown, part of the Turati series of fragrances uh, where there's also a Turati Blue scent and this one is called Turati Brown. And this, unlike uh, the Tux from Mason Alhambra, feels more like an inspired by, you know, type of fragrance, more like a twist on the original DNA. It's slightly different, it still carries a lot of the same uh, vibes that you get out of the original fragrance, but this doesn't feel as spicy in the opening. It feels a little bit softer, a little bit uh, more mellow in the opening. Also on the dry down you get more sweetness compared to the original fragrance. This one carries more vanillic sweetness, there's a hint of ambery sweetness and I even pick up a touch of a boozy note in here and a touch of a tobacco note. Again, this doesn't feel like a straight up uh, copy of the original fragrance. This feels more like an inspiration or as a twist. So, to sum it up, if you want to re get really, really close to the original scent, uh, you should probably go for the Tux from Mason Alhambra. But if you want something with a little bit of a spin on it, then you should uh, check out Turati Brown from Afnan. If I have to pick up one, alternative here that I will choose over the other for me the better option or the one that is closer to my liking will be Turati Brown from Afnan. The next original fragrance that I'm going to give you two alternatives for comes from the house of Initio and it's called Oud for Greatness. Another very very famous uh, fragrance in the community, this one being a straight up niche fragrance coming from a niche uh, fragrance house. So again I'm going to give you two good cheaper alternatives. The, the first one comes from the brand of Latafa and it's called Badia Ar Oud Oud for Glory. And this, like the first couple of fragrances that I showed you, this one feels like a straight up copy of the original fragrance, almost down to the bottle design as well, which is pretty similar to what you get with the original scent. It carries again a very similar scent profile with lots of spiciness, lots of oudzy notes, a strong agar oud note, some ambery sweetness on the dry down, all around very very similar to the original fragrance and maybe feeling even a little bit more spicy than the original one carries a sort of an, uh, like a dry type of scent uh, in my opinion, but I've never really been the biggest fan of the original and the Wood for Glory, uh, you know, take from the house of uh, Latafa. But I cannot deny the fact that this has good quality, comes nicely packaged, carries a very competitive price and actually gets very, very close to the original scent. But if you want something that's done in a similar style, but is not a straight up uh, copy of the original fragrance, something with a little bit more sweetness, uh, then I'll offer you an alternative from, again, from Afnan that's called Supremacy in Oud. Again, like the first couple of fragrances that I showed you, this 
has a lot less spices compared to the original fragrance and the Latafa uh, inspiration. This has a lot more sweetness, there's some vanillic sweetness, some ambery sweetness and all around again this feels softer, it feels uh, sweeter and for me personally this is an easier fragrance to wear compared to the original and the Latafa take. It's a little bit more expensive than the Latafa though, uh, Afnan fragrances tend to be a little bit more expensive but you also get super super nice quality when it comes to the packaging, the presentation and the scent as well. For me Afnan and Al Haramein I've always said that but those two fragrance houses from the Middle East they have the highest quality when it comes to their scents. So again just to sum it up quickly if you're looking for something that will get you super close to the original fragrance then you should definitely go for Badia Al Oud. Oud for glory from Latafa but if you want something sweeter slightly easier to wear you should go with Afnan's Supremacy in Oud. My personal pick in here will be again the offering from Afnan Supremacy in Oud. The next original fragrance that I'm going to give you a few alternatives uh, will be from the House of Parfums de Marly and it's called Herod, one of uh, their most famous uh, releases that are coming out of that fragrance house. So again, I'm going to give you two uh, cheaper alternatives. The first one comes again from Maison Alhambra and it's called Hercules. And again, this one feels like, uh, like any other fragrance from the brand of Maison Alhambra. This feels like a straight up copy of the original scent, scent wise. It carries a lot of the same, uh, it's very very similar to the original scent, has a nice strong sweet tobacco tobacco note, has some spices, some oodziness, a hint of uh, uh, incense as well, you know, cedar oud, pretty much uh, very similar to the original fragrance. Quality here is relatively good, this is a very inexpensive scent, uh, one of the cheaper Mason Alhambra fragrances that you can get and all around it will get you very very close to the original fragrance. Performance wise pretty similar to the original, has good longevity but doesn't project very loudly but the original one as well does that. One thing that I don't like about this one, as I said, the quality here is relatively good, but it's not super, super high. I've had this for quite a while, but even to this day when I spray it in the first few seconds, there's quite a bit of a strong uh, perfumer's alcohol uh, smell out of it. After a few, like a minute passes, this settles down to a nice uh, take on the original scent, but again, just lacks a bit of the quality. The second alternative that I'm going to give you for Herod comes from Paris Corner and their autobiography line of fragrances and it's called Supreme Gold. This is one of the recent uh, Paris Corner fragrances that I've acquired and to be honest this has higher quality compared to the Mason Alhambra offering. It's not, again in here I'm talking about a, a little bit of a twist on the original DNA, this feels less spicy compared to the original fragrance, feels a little bit sweeter and a little bit fresher in the opening. On the dry down it actually becomes very close to Herod but again has a little bit of a twist but it has a very very good quality, the scent wise, is the, the scent is really really nice, there's no, no harshness, no alcohol vibes in the opening, absolutely nothing, the quality here is top notch. The only problem with this one is that it comes in a, only a 65 milliliter bottle size, which tends to be even a little bit more expensive than the 100 milliliter bottle of uh, Hercules. If I have to pick up uh, just one in here, I will go with uh, Supreme Gold from Paris Corner, simply because this has higher quality. The next original fragrance that I'm going to give you two alternatives for again comes from the brand of uh, the house of Parfums de Marly and it's the also famous Leighton. Now I gave you uh, two alternatives for Leighton in my previous video but Leighton is such a popular fragrance that it has quite a lot of alternatives and inspirations out there. So in this video today I'm going to give you two more options when it comes to Leighton. And now on to the two alternatives. The first one that I'm going to give you is a super super high uh, alternative, probably my most favorite, favorite alternative of Leighton. It comes from the Oods collection and it's called Dusk. Really really super high quality scent in here that will get you very close to the original fragrance. It's again a bit of a twist, this has more of a fruity twist, lacks a bit of the green and spicy feel that you get out of the original Leighton. This is a little bit softer, a little bit more fruity, a little bit sweeter, especially in the opening on the dry down, it's super super similar to the original fragrance. Again as I said has a very high quality, comes really nicely packaged, you get a nice magnetic cap. The performance here is good, nothing spectacular unfortunately, probably the only con about this fragrance and the other one is that it tends to be quite expensive, but again in my opinion this is one of the two best options when it comes to 
late and close but again can be ex expensive on some markets so i'm going to give you a a lot cheaper alternative to Leighton. It comes from the brand of Zimaya, which is a sub brand of Afnan, and it's called Royal Paragon. This one is an interesting, again, sort of a twist, not a direct copy of the original fragrance. This, to my nose, feels like a, a little bit of a mix between Leighton and Leighton exclusive. Feels a little bit darker compared to the uh, OG Leighton, but again, not as dark as the exclusive flanker. Performance. Uh, uh, sorry quality here is actually very 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 nice considering how cheap of a fragrance this is this around here usually costs somewhere between 15 to 20 euros making it even cheaper than detour noir for an example has good performance good projection comes nicely packaged and all around uh, very it's a very very decent alternative to latent but again sometimes can be hard to find if you are, uh, you know, after the highest quality, uh, you know, alternative to latent that, that you can get your hands on, definitely check out Dusk. But if you're looking for something very inexpensive that will still get you close to latent, definitely, if you can, check out Royal Paragon from Zimaya. And the last famous fragrance that I'm going to give you two alternatives for comes from the brand of Nishane, which is a Turkish-based, uh, you know, niche brand, niche fragrance brand and the original scent is called Ani. Ani is an absolutely fantastic vanilla based fragrance, my most favorite vanilla based fragrance uh, you know from what I've tried. So let me show you two alternatives for Ani. The first one comes from Fragrance World and their FA line, their FA sub brand and it's called Spectre Ghost. And this one is uh, again a very very nice take on the original DNA carries a very very similar scent profile feels a little bit more spicy in the opening slightly less citrusy the quality of the opening uh, is uh, lower compared to the original fragrance which is to be expected lacks a bit of the citrusy punch that you get out of the original feels a little bit more spicy on the dry down will get you quite close to any with that you know nice rich and deep vanilla scent sweet vanilla scent comes really uniquely packaged has very nice quality performance is good projection is good it's a little bit more expensive compared to some other fragrance world scents but all around has really really nice quality but can sometimes be a little bit hard to find and also i think there's a, a little bit uh, better uh, you know uh, alternative out there it comes from the guys from zoha aroma and it's called spiced bourbon if you don't know zoha aroma this is a fragrance brand that's based in toronto canada if i remember correctly they do a lot of uh, inspired by fragrances but they also have some original creations and from what i've tried i've tried to feel their scents and all of them have really really nice quality and spiced bourbon that is uh, done by them actually to my nose is from what i've tried is the best uh, any inspiration that i've uh, found so far on the markets very very close to the original fragrance especially in the opening uh, you know it's uh, the closest thing uh, to the opening of any that i've tried so far on the dry down again super super close has that nice uh, you know slightly spicy very citrusy and sweet uh, opening uh, and then on the dry down a very nice rich sweet and deep vanilla scent performance is fantastic quality is fantastic their pricing is very competitive all around this is the best alternative to any that i've tried so far so my two last suggestions uh, in today's video for alternatives to nishane ani from fragrance world and fa fa paris spectre ghost and spiced bourbon from Zoha Aroma. If I have to pick up just one out of the two, I'll go with spiced bourbon.